Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're going to be back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is going over the new mode Super City Rampage and we're going to be showing you guys the 10 best brawlers in the mode as well as a very broken strategy. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. So coming in at number 10, we have 8-Bit. Now 8-Bit is very good in this mode. Now obviously what you guys want when playing this mode is a high DPS brawler. You want a brawler that can just deal a lot of damage to these bots and that does in insane amounts of work and obviously one of those brawlers will be 8-bit now 8-bit is really really good at just standing there dishing out damage and then obviously his super can also boost the damage for the rest of your team now 8-bit does have a good gadget as well for escape but the only downfall is sometimes when this dinosaur robot thing gets a little bit angry it starts to charge at you and a lot of brawlers have a lot of getaway methods unfortunately 8-bit doesn't really have that he's super slow so he can't really run away like you usually can with other brawlers and this is the reason why 8-bit is going to be number 10 on our our list today so coming in at number nine we have M's now M's is a really interesting brawler for this mode as it doesn't have as much DPS as the rest of the brawlers that we're playing with have but it does do a pretty good amount of work it's not that bad with the DPS as you guys can see we're using the first star power which I highly recommend since there's absolutely no reason to use a second star power you're just getting an additional about 300 400 damage per shot if you're landing all three of your ticks if you're using the first star power so definitely be using that you do have your knockback which is a really good escape mechanism as well as your super which does help you escape a lot of the time as you guys can see the bot is fairly slow in this super there's not much it can do so M's is actually a really good brawler when it comes to this now unfortunately it doesn't have the best getaway mechanics or the best DPS which is why we're going to rank it at number nine but it is definitely a pretty good brawler to play and I would highly recommend doing so now let's hop into number eight and let's show you guys the number eight brawler now coming in at number eight we have Max now Max in theory is actually a really good brawler in this mode I thought Max was actually going to just completely dominate this mode because of the speed, but I played it a little bit and I realized that that wasn't going to be the case. So with Max, the thing is that would actually make it really good is the fact that you can just burst away, the fact that you can just use your speed and run. But the thing with this dinosaur robot is he can keep up with Max. He can run just as fast as you're running, so your getaway mechanic actually isn't really that good. Um, the speed doesn't really do anything which makes your super useless now you do do good DPS when you're using max you do get shots pretty quickly so that's pretty good as well as you do have that escape mechanism being your gadget but unfortunately it just doesn't do as much damage doesn't have as, as much escape and the super is useless so you don't really have as much as a you know just OP reason to play this mode as other brawlers do i couldn't really find a word for what i was trying to say but anyways that's going to be max in the number eight slot we actually have a pretty surprising one at number seven so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is so coming in at number seven we actually have mr p now mr p is a pretty insane brawler um in 3v3 but it doesn't really seem like it would make sense here you can only your briefcase basically hits for 980 times two so you're doing a little bit shy of 2000 damage every few seconds which or every one second or so which isn't as much as you can do with like a pam or a colt or a max or you know other high dps brawlers but what you do have is your porter and your porter is very 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 useful every shot is gonna hit so it's giving you an additional 364 damage per second which which increases your damage per second to above 2000 which is pretty on par with like max and other brawlers and then if you boost it it gets even higher the good part wait, boost with the gadget of course now the good part about this brawler is that it actually has a pretty good escape mechanism as you can just drop down your turret which is going to tank 2k if you have a normal mr p an additional 4k if you have a regular turret and well i guess there's no other turret because they took out that star power and it gives you basically six shots or seven shots from the dino for you to run away regain hp whatever you need it's actually a pretty useful brawler it was kind of random it does a lot of body blocking with the mr p porters and the little penguin things but anyways that is going to be our number seven slot now let's hop into number six now coming in at number six we're going to have b now b is a really good brawler as well for this mode it does have really good dps you're getting about four uh, 4,000 damage almost per second and the best part about this brawler is you do not have to aim a single shot in this mode I went through an entire game with mr. B without aiming or, or no I said mr. B with just with B 
and I didn't aim a single time. I only missed two shots when the bot was getting really fast. I'm just standing here spamming the auto aim button and it does really good damage per second. Now the only issue with Mr. P is that the super is useless in the mode. It literally doesn't affect the robot at all and the gadget is fairly useless as well. So you don't really have the other boosts that the other brawlers have. You're not really putting in the work that the other brawlers have when it comes to the defense. Um, your damage output, again, is pretty good, but this mode isn't all about damage. It's, all, it's also about staying alive. Damage is only 50% of it, and your staying alive factor is not that great with B. So that's why this brawler is going to be number six. Again, the OP part is you actually really don't have to aim with this brawler at all in this mode. I would use the second star power, which is the uh, which is the shield or the whatever it is that brings you to one HP, just because you're not going to miss a single shot. So you don't need to get your other shots back. But anyways, let's hop into the top five and show you guys what the number five brawler is. So coming in at number five, we actually have Gale. Now Gale is a pretty surprising brawler considering it doesn't do too much damage to this bot. It does about 2,000 per second if you're close and about 1,700 if you're far. But Gale has a lot of things that make him good. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of a glitch with Gale where you can get the bot stuck at times. Where you can do an additional like 10% or 15% to the bot with him just being stuck and doing nothing. But he has a really, really good escape mechanism. The best escape in the game. He can put down three, uh, three launch pads. You guys already know that, which is really OP defense. And every about four shots you take with him or so, you're going to get his knockback. And his knockback is really good, obviously, for escaping. It's not that hard to get your super. Obviously, you have those three gadgets. And it does do pretty good DPS. So if you match Gale with two high DPS brawlers, that's probably the best comp that you can get. Unless you're using the insane strategy that we're going to show you guys towards the end of this video. But anyways, Gale's going to be number five. It's going to be our best escape brawler, our best defense brawler in this mode. Now let's hop on and go on to number four. So coming in at number four, our replay didn't work, unfortunately. So we're going to show you guys a live game of us playing Daryl. Now, Daryl is really good if you have the rolling reload star power. Benji, Spaceman, hello. Uh, but anyways, you do a really good amount of damage. That's very obvious. You guys already know that. We can go inside the bot and do 6,000 damage, which is huge. We can roll on the bot with rolling reload. You guys definitely want to be using that and just doing a ton of damage. Now, you guys can see I'm just going around and I'm absolutely just destroying this bot right now. And you guys can see just the amount of damage that we can do with rolling reload. Daryl. It, like the game has barely started and when we're all we have already done a tremendous amount of damage probably the highest dps brawler you can use and of course i didn't really do it there but you have an insane escape mechanism with daryl where you can legitimately just roll away it's high dps the damage gives you more or the gadget sorry gives you more dps it's absolutely crazy and this is going to be our number four brawler for this mode let's hop straight on to number three so coming in at number three we're going to have colt now colt for very obvious reasons is going to be number three it's probably the highest the second highest or the third highest dps in the game when you're talking about this mode you just absolutely laser this bot your gadget is just added lasers you get six more shots if you add up all of your gadgets and you're just absolutely destroying a bot and then your super obviously just destroys it even more colt is the perfect piece to put with like a gale or a pam or a Mr. P, or just someone if you want to just absolutely take out the bot and just absolutely destroy it, the brawler you want to be using is Colt. It's really good. You can keep your range. You don't have to be close. Either star power works, whatever you're more comfortable with. But personally, I think the one where you stay further away and have range is the best strategy. Um, but anyways, Colt's just a DPS monster. There's nothing else really to say about him. So let's hop into the number two spot and show you guys what is number two. So coming in at number two, this is a very easy pick for us. We're going to be going with Pam. Now, Pam obviously is just an absolute monster in this mode. There's so much to like about Pam. You have that DPS. You can be close. You can be far, depending on what is better for the situation. Um, you can you have that turret to body block or to heal your players with your gadget and there's just so much you can do with Pam if you're using the straight the correct star power you're giving your teammates HP by just shooting the bot doing what you'd already do just like the DPS the range the health everything about it everything about Pam is so overpowered it's the perfect mid control type of thing the perfect balance of everything if you want a high DPS if you want a good defense brawler if you want someone that's good at giving you HP anything Pam is your brawler I'd perfect I'd preferably put Pam Gale and Colt into a comp that would probably be the most well-rounded comp if I can think of any uh, because you have that escape you have that utility with Pam and then you obviously have the DPS with Pam and Colt but that is going to be our number two brawler now instead of showing you guys number one in the same type of gameplay format we've been showing you we're going to show you guys this broken method that is going to guarantee you insane 16 in like an hour and a half or an hour so with that being said we're going to show you guys the game 
credits to Jigsaw for the gameplay. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. So coming in at number one in our insane strategy is going to be bow. Now, as you guys can tell from this video, you guys are probably really confused. How did you get three bows into a room? What is going on? Let, just inform me about all this. So basically what happens is every, someone found out this insane strategy. Once you get above Insane 7 or Insane 8, about every single player starts to just solo queue with bow. Now you can do it legitimately with the brawlers I gave you, and if you guys want the challenge, go ahead, and I suggest you guys take the challenge. But if you guys want a free Insane 16 on your profile, just solo queue with bow once you get past Insane 3, the 7th or 8th level total. And you guys can tell this bot just isn't moving. Now this bot has 100,000 HP. So it's it has a lot more damage than you know, or a lot more health than you know people can dish out, dish out damage. The original bots would have been dead by now, but as you guys can tell, three gadgets are just on the ground charging supers quickly. You are always gonna have a super on the ground. This guy cannot move. He cannot destroy the city, and they're just absolutely taking him out. He's been just dealt a ton of damage, and this is the strategy you guys want to use if you guys want a basically free Insane 16 on your profile, which this will probably get fixed semi soon. So if you guys want it, I would suggest doing it straight away. But this is the strategy. This is the number one brawler, and this is what you guys want to be doing. So anyways, that's going to be it for our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this list and like other lists, please let me know in the comment section below. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back again tomorrow. Peace.